welcome to Florida Power and Light. This is our brand spanking new control center. So we're going to do a whole tour today, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do a safety briefing first, like we always do. We're going to talk about hurricane preparedness. Who knows what a hurricane is? Everyone. One of the things is it gets harder each time. One of them is being prepared for emergency, getting all ready. So you guys, by doing this and going this over with your family, you guys can earn one of the requirements. Just so you guys know, I'm wearing my pin here today. I got the Scout logo in the middle, and uh, Fox, remember where it goes? The upper left pocket, right? So reach down for a minute. So what it does is turn around for right. So it goes actually, it's very unique. It goes right here, it's across the state in my career. We've now come down to one. So the operators inside are very much like the 911 dispatchers, Scouts at it, with the emergency preparedness pin. Who's earned the emergency We've got about 5 million customers, that's 5 million meters out there um, that are within with Florida Power Life. We come down from Jacksonville, kind of around the state, like a hook, like a J. Well, on the East Coast, back around to Bradenton. That 5 million accounts is about 10 million people. 10 million people in the state out of the 17, so it's, it's a big deal. And when things like Hurricane, like Irma hits, right, we actually took out almost 90% of the customers for a very short time. In Hurricane Wilma, for example, it took out 3.5 million people, it took 18 days to restore, and for the vast majority of people, there were some outliers, but Irma was eight or nine days for those folks. And a lot of that was due to the folks in this building that were 24 hours a day on shift. And so we'll take a look at them inside. We're not gonna be able to go inside the secure area. Um, this is 70,000 square foot building. It is a monster. It's one of the largest category five buildings in the state of Florida. Hi, balls on me. here all they do all year long is they get ready and prepare for hurricanes and things like computer hackers right with any kind of an emergency within the state of Florida this team over here is preparing to work with the police fire the National Guard everybody right there's a whole team dedicated to that right Awesome, awesome. Okay, so what you're now is the command center. So this is where everyone comes only in an emergency. So next door we've got folks working all the time, but this is the special command center right here, right? We've got special people that have jobs that all go to every one of these desks and they have a very important job, right? So, so behind you over here is a great picture of all the trucks that we bring in just to one staging site from all outside the state. Terrific friends of each other because we can't get through this all together. So everyone grab a seat, everyone put their hands on the seat. Everyone put their hands on the seat, right? Go sit down. The phones are actually the speakers on the ceiling, and if you turn it green, it means you're talking and they can hear you. So we have people all around the state that are on conference calls and talking to each other. Okay, so incident support team. So one of the things, all right, so all this is describing is over the last several hurricanes, how well we performed, right? So let's see, this one is Matthew. Let's go to Irma's the green, right? So this simply shows we got 40% of the customers on in the very first day, before the first 24 hours was done. As you go out on day four, how many people, you had 91% of the people in by day four. Wait, Irma's the green. And then Wilma was the, the tough one.
Irons, a sleeper. Alright, it's not. We got a sleeper enough for I think 16 folks can sleep in here when there's uh, no hotels in the middle of nowhere, too, right? Our expert for you guys to talk to today is Paul Hines. I want to go on the sleeper. Alright, so make sure you hold out for real. Well, Yay, free Wi Fi! There's a server. It's sit down. We'll show you how to yeah, make a nerd. Hey, does it have Fortnite on it? No, it does not have Fortnite on it. Aww. Yay! No Fortnite! It's here. Oh. And take the H. Take the H and drop it in one of the spots where it has H. And then take the L and drop it in the spot with the next L. H, we go so this is our mobile command center. Too, right? And we have charging stations. We have chargers! Yep. What red thing? thing? What red thing? 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 Oh. No, no, that can't spin. Not this one, only this one. Right? Can I try? Does this radius sound like yeah, yeah. something? Go ahead and do, uh, do you can spin it around. Ask me where do I sleep in there? Where do I sleep in there? I don't sleep in there. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to turn the lights on. Oh. Alright, signs up.
very boisterous ones today. Andes. Don't um, step on them. Don't step on them. That's actually a great answer, Mr. Stevens. Um, don't step on them, especially when they're in the water. Correct. Tell an adult. What's that? Tell an adult. Tell an adult's perfect, okay? Stay uh, away, right? Oh, Besides to today. Right? Okay? So downstairs, they are sending all those people out to help you guys during a hurricane or some other time, okay? Don't grab it, please. Okay, don't grab it. Listen, this is like the third time. Right? Oh, okay. Of the big video screen, you'll see this building being built. It's a time lapse video of about 15 months of this thing being built from the ground up. You can see the walls going up, all the cranes, day and down? night, and then just a minute, in just a minute, you guys can now see the actual floor getting designed to build. Right here, so the number of trucks throughout the state. We know everybody where everyone's working throughout the state. All right, we've got lightning on here. One of the things that's really cool is we've got all the people that are out who's working, and you can actually go and ping, actually talk to one of the meters.